It'll be really nice when this is over. I hope it's over today. It's probably over today. Probably. Since it was supposed to be over yesterday. Hello everyone, and welcome to Thursday. I just made myself a smoothie. Attempted to drink the smoothie. Spilled the smoothie. And I've learned something, although I learned it the other day. It's easier to use a straw to drink a smoothie than to just drink it out of a cup. Because the problem with smoothies is that they're thick. So you start to pour it, and you might get some of that little juice, but then all of a sudden it, the big thick part goes blunk. And especially when you first start drinking it, it's all over you. And we don't have any straws. I need to put straws on the shopping list right now. So I'm going to do it right now. And I'm going to do it with my new app, AnyList. I used to use an app called Shop Shop, which uh, was pretty cool. It was a free shopping list app in the, uh, the iOS marketplace where you could add shopping list items and then easily cross them off. Now I'm starting to use AnyList. I would highly recommend it. If you have an iOS device, I don't think it's on Android. It might be, um, but if you have an iOS device, um, look up any list. It's absolutely free. You get uh, the ability to make categorized lists, which are automatically categorized, which is really sweet. So, like when I write down, um, you know, eggs, it automatically categorizes it into dairy. It automatically knows. And if you add an item that it doesn't know, you can categorize it yourself, and it remembers it for next time. Um, I also have it uh, synced with Mal. So if Mao adds an item, it appears on mine. If I add an item, it appears on Mao's, vice versa. It's awesome. I really like it. I've been using it for a few days and it's fantastic. What was I adding? Straws. S-T-R-A-W-S. -S. Straws. Did it know where to put them? Where did it put them? Household and cleaning. Straws. Yeah, okay. Oh, that, sure. I don't really know what other category I'd go into, so that'll work. Awesome. Uh, today, I've been working on videos, as you might expect, but I'll leave that part out. This chair occasionally unlatches. Um, but tonight, we're going to go over to my parents for dinner. I don't know what we're having. I just know that my mom called and was like, hey, would you like to come over for dinner? And I was like, yes. I don't, I don't know what we're having. It doesn't matter what we're having because, number one, my mom's a good cook. And also, it means that we don't have to cook, which is very, very nice. Let's go eat. What are we having for dinner? Because I, you didn't tell me, actually. Baked I mean, chicken, mashed potatoes. Baked chicken and mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. man, that smells delicious. Broccoli, cauliflower, corn, biscuits. Wow. And, and there's a dessert surprise. <laughs> I like surprises. Fantastic. We're covering all the food groups too. The chicken food group, the broccoli food group, the mashed potato food group, the roll food group. I ate all of my food and went back for a few seconds and uh, we have that secret dessert. Mal, do you know what it is? No. Do you want to know? Yeah. Tell her. Apple crisp. <laughs> <laughs> it smells amazing. It smells really good. Also, because I got a bunch of my work done, um, we're good to just kind of relax over here for a bit. So Cutthroat Kitchen just came on, so we get to watch it as a family. So that's actually really exciting for me. I had an absolutely awesome time with my family tonight. Amazing food, um, amazing fun, because Cutthroat Kitchen was, you know, a fabulous episode. Um, I was rooting for someone and he didn't win and I was sad, but, you know, he got to the final round, so he did really well. Um, but just a really, really good night. Tomorrow's going to be pretty good, too. Um, my dad is going to come over and help me clean because Mal and I have been really, really busy. And uh, he's going to give me some assistance in getting the apartment ready for Saturday because that's when we're going to be doing uh, Jared's bachelor party. And I think we also might ride, uh, ride out for a little bit because uh, I need to pick up some sodas uh, and some other drinks for um, Saturday. So we're probably going to do that tomorrow as well. So uh, I need to get more work done. Uh, I need to get more vlogs done. But I also got to clean the apartment. So vlog creation is probably going to have to go on hold, unfortunately, for another day or two because Saturday's off like off limits completely. I'm not going to be able to do really anything Saturday. And then uh, tomorrow, which is Friday, I'm probably going to be spending a lot of it cleaning. So it's all right. It's going to be fun. I'm excited uh, for Saturday. Um, Austin is actually coming back in town. He wasn't sure if he was going to make it or not because he's up in Virginia, but he's actually um, 
coming back into town just for Saturday to uh, spend the day and the evening uh, with us. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Also, I just realized that it probably seems funny because I'm in different clothes. But I left my other clothes at my parents' house and switched into these because um, they were stained. And my mom has like stain remover stuff. Remember earlier when I dropped smoothie down the front of me? Yeah, so that's why I'm wearing these clothes. And I've only been wearing these clothes for like 20 minutes. So I'm probably gonna wear these tomorrow. Okay. That wouldn't be such a, a big issue, like using profanity on the job, but when your job takes place like right outside someone's window, that, that can be a pretty, pretty big issue. Let's keep moving forward. There are enemies here. Although we should be able to take them. Doggone it, you little butthole. Now when I'm double, <laughs> this is terrible. When I'm double fisting uh, incinerate, I tend to take out the workers much more quickly.